target area marked. Get to the new safe zone. Still active. Buy station prices have been reduced. Oh. Alright, what's up boys? Today I have a banger for you guys today. This is going to be a perfect video on why snipers and solos are just so goddamn clutch. I know a lot of people will say that sniping feels horrible uh, in Warzone 2, but hey, when you're playing solos, getting that crisp one shot kill can be super super satisfying and game changing too drop a like on the, the video comment down below subscribe if you're new and uh, i'll put the class setup video uh, at the end for you guys all right take it easy fellas love you boy i've only ever yeah. seen i've i've only ever seen an, an end zone there a couple of times like i've seen an end zone there yeah but only a hand a hand few Only a handful of times. There I have ones there back to back. Yeah, that's crazy. For me, that's my biggest problem with this game too, and it's one of them things is like most people wouldn't see that as a problem. Most people wouldn't see that as a problem, but once you have you know 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 hours in the game. Then that's when it becomes a problem. Moving here. Oh. The taming, bro. Found some loot. Vanguard. If you don't know why I pick up Vanguard perk package instead of my normal perk package. Is because Vanguard is the exact same as my perk package, only it has double time instead of overkill. But basically, you just get an extra perk. Sniper here! I don't know if these guys had durable, Relocating the safe zone. durable mask, right? Durable. Found a gas mask. Hostile UAV in the sector. Supply crates have been restocked. Oh. Think, yeah, we knocked each other. Moving here. Selfie. We gave it. Moving here. Target area marked. Send that shit. Phoenix 2-3 on approach. 
strike him down. The fight is over. Now it's a ghost down. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. Target area marked. Ooh. Send that shit. Copy that. Phoenix 2 3 is on stage. The hell? Strike He's scared, bro. Moving in. New safe zone located. That guy's good. He's using a Victus too. I respect it. He's using a one shot kill uh, explosive round Victus. Come on, bro. I can't beat. That's what happens when you don't snipe chat. The easy snipes are just the hardest things ever. What? Oh my gosh, that was right on him. Only ten are left. Part of that building still safe. I'm gonna drop this bomb drone. In case I accidentally call it in. I got zone pull. No way I got pull. He lay down. He lay down right there. That's tough. I wonder if that cracked sniper, the guy who was like kind of cracked, with the Izzy skin. I wonder if she died. Ah, uh, pussy. Pussy. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. I think I rotated too early. I guess we'll see. I think I rotated too early, but we'll see. That's the last guy. There's a vehicle. You made it through and took the win. Well done. Go oh, baby. GG's. Perfect game of snipe and solos right there. I like that. All right, so here's the class setup for the sniper. Um, in case you guys are wondering, uh, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, just make sure it's max ADS, max bullet velocity, max ADS, max aim walking speed. Uh, the reason I have it ADS here instead of damage range is this doesn't affect your bullet drop or your bullet velocity and it's a one shot kill to the head anyway regardless so it doesn't really matter uh max damage range max velocity and then for the ffsole here is the tuning for that and the cronin land stock max aim instability and max ads look at this thing guys it literally has zero like well it does have sway but i mean look at the sway on that so it's super easy to line up shots, and it's super easy to get that crispy one-shot kill. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. I appreciate you guys sticking to the very end of the video. You guys are absolutely badass for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. Love you, bye.